a cross-join or Cartesian product. Let's look at the cross-join in detail. So we stated before that the cross-join is a multiplication between two tables, as in table A, rows 1 to 3, table B, rows A to C. The result of the cross-join between tables A and B would be table A multiplied by table B. That is nine rows. So rows and join are equal to rows and tables A multiplied by the rows in table B. The cross-join or Cartesian product is effectively a join between two tables where you get as many rows as you possibly can. Cartesian products or the use of them is generally a sign of problems with the data model, but not always. Let's take a look at the two select statements. What I'm going to use is called a grouping count function. We'll get to grouping functions later on. The count function simply allows me to select everything from a table and count the number of rows that I've selected. So what it's going to give me is a result on category table of 34 rows and on the show table of 147 rows. Let's verify that. So here's my two count select statements. I'm going to go to SQL plus and I'm going to copy and paste them in. And I see I have 34 rows in the category and 147 rows in the show table as seen here. Now let's take this to the next step. This is the Oracle proprietary form of the cross join wrapped in a counter function and this is the ANSI form wrapped in a counter function. What I'm doing here is I'm going to select all the rows from category and show into a cross join which is going to count all the rows in both tables and multiply them together in a cross product, a Cartesian product. The same applies to the ANSI form. I'm going to get 34 times 147, which is 4,998 rows. Let's verify that. What I've done is I've typed these statements, these SQL statements, into my notepad, and now I'm going to paste them. So I've got 4998 rows on the Oracle proprietary format. And I should get the same thing with the ANSI format. I get 4998 rows. So my original counts were 34 times 147. Let's verify that. 34 multiplied by 147 gives me 4998 rows. This verifies the cross join or Cartesian product, use the counter simply to display the number of rows coming out. Now let's run one of the queries individually and we'll see what I mean by the lack of usefulness of a cross product. All we get is lots of data using this query without the WHERE clause. We basically were not joining the tables, we're simply just selecting everything we get lots of data which is not necessarily related to each other. In other words, the category and show records are not related to each other. What you'll get is you'll get show records matched with categories that in actuality are not matched. A show such as a pop show that is going to be included in the category opera, and that doesn't make sense. All you get here is lots of meaningless matched data, which doesn't really make sense. And this will go on until we get 4,998 rows coming out. So we won't carry on with that one for now.